So the rain has let up today. We got a full day of exploration ahead of us. We're gonna be checking out some of the uh, rocks in this area, checking out a few deposits. Right here you have an oxidized area. We're gonna check up there. Uh, this is a porphyritic rock with alterations um, of epidote. You have a little bit of quartz carbonate amongst the, the rocks. And you have this really oxidized area along here we're gonna take a look at. So where my prospecting partner is over there, uh, the rocks are more porphyritic and over here they're more like basalt. You still have your intrusions with uh, epidote alteration. So here is an example of porphyry. Over here you have a altered basalt here you have a volcanic tuff. And here you have some uh, what looks like quartz carbonate. So lots of uh, different rock types. So right now we are about 30 meters above that outcrop and what we're doing is we're basically scouring 100 meters above these deposits in to see if we can find any float rocks with mineralization any interesting anomalies of anything that way we know that farther up there could be some kind of exposed outcrop containing mineralization so here's a good example of a rock with epidote alteration you can see a little patch of rust on it or oxidization grab sample here from just below the road you can see extensive pyrite mineralization another grab sample here from below the road you can see you got uh, little bits of iron pyrite following this oxidized vein it's a little bit more dominant in there and then you have disseminations of uh, pyrite in the host rock. So I'm going to hammer this and see what uh, shows up in the vein. So along the vein contact, which uh, appears to be quartz carbonate, that white stuff there, and you can see oxidization and you can see a bit more iron pyrite which is uh, forming in your vein. And here it's broken in half again. You can see quartz carbonate, the oxidized area, and then that's actually quartz. But you can see the pyrite mineralization. And the other half there. Another road grab sample here and you can see more disseminations of pyrite and calcopyrite. You can see the difference right there. You have calcopyrite, pyrite right there. Alright, we moved on to a new area. You can see the conglomerate with the brachiated matrix. 
cementing your rocks together. Here's one of them. You can see pyrite mineralizing some of your rock. Here is a second one. You can see quartz with uh, coarse grained iron pyrite. So you can see this exposure here. What we want to do is we want to follow this about 100 meters up along strike and uh, see if we can find any mineralized rocks that are similar to this and uh, see how far we can trace it for before it uh, is no longer accessible because of overburden. So there's the exposure and if you go 10 meters away you have a altered chloratized epidotized basalt so obviously there's a contact somewhere in here so we got a pile of rocks there looks like it's been disturbed from logging here's one of the samples I found so pyrite Disseminated. Float rocks with uh, heavy oxidization. Minor amounts of iron pyrite. Not too much of anything else though. 30 meters off the road, you have an uprooted tree. And you can see, again, more exposed conglomerate with your brecciated matrix you can see all the oxidized rocks hammer a couple open and see if any are mineralized so pretty much all the same fine-grained iron pyrite disseminated so just loads of uprooted trees and Pretty much every single tree that we can see has very oxidized rocks underneath. So we're now a couple hundred meters away from where we started off and we're still getting uprooted trees. You can see again oxidized. So you see how gossness it looks and it leads me to believe that uh, you have a iron deposit as well as what other minerals we don't know yet. You can see just how oxidized this is. They're just loaded, eh? Yeah, it's so many. They got lots of uh, disseminated pyrite, but so far nothing crazy. No solid mineral pieces. Here we have another spot here. Loads of oxidized rock again. This looks like it's ready to come off. Again, all these are mineralized, at least most of them are.
pyrite mineralization. So there you go. Loads of mineral. So that's just a couple of the areas that we've covered today. So you can see this logging road is very long. Goes for about uh, three, four kilometers and you have mineralized exposures like this all along. You can see there's another one there, there's another one there, and another one past that. So going to be doing a lot of exploration here over the next uh, year. This is a really promising area with a lot of potential so uh, we're going to do some trips up there. We're going to pan some side creeks uh, but that's all in the future and that's all the time we have for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't checked out our second channel, go ahead and check that out. Links in the description. We're on social media, so LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Take care, everyone.